Scorpio, you are actually changing your relationship to God and also creating your cornerstone of faith. And so your relationship to God, first of all, is an emotional relationship based on your heart. And so you're trying to come into a calm, where the where, calm blue ocean where the universe has got you, where you feel like God has got you. But then the other, which is new to me that downloaded today was the cornerstone of faith. Um, what is your cornerstone of faith? Is it money in the bank? Is it this? Is it that? Identify your cornerstone of faith that says, hey, no matter what, if this happens, I'll be okay. That's your cornerstone of faith. Now, the full moon in Aries says it's all going to come up in your lifestyle, health, lifestyle issues, details of your life, details of a change of life, a transformation of life. This is the emotional agitation that the full moon will bring. And so you want to release all of the past. You can't necessarily uh, hold on to fears of the past or what's happened to you or uh, what they did in their old work record. I know a lot of Scorpios, I'm about to see one actually here, a triple threat, um, where I know it'll be brought up in my face, the past. And I will say to this person, hey, did you know the full moon calls for you to release all that? <laughs> of which you'll say, don't use astrology to manage me. But the point is, is that uh, it is time now to let go of you know the lifestyle errors and where you weren't able to perform, where you felt held back, and give yourself an emotionally balanced palette for the full moon uh, to uh, take you to the next level. Now, when it comes to your life's purpose, there's been a lot of back and forth with that and trying to uh, do this cornerstone and have this faith. Uh, right now, you are having to change you know, the feelings you respond to around life purpose. So you may feel like you're, I'm not on my purpose. Okay, but what feelings came up? What feelings did you allow to come up? How did you extinguish those feelings back to neutrality or just let them burn down the whole forest? That's sort of the question there. Um, now, the Pluto dozer, however, <clears throat> is around your thoughts, your attitude, your logic, your self-dialogue, you talking to yourself. That's what has to actually change to the core or to get burned down. It's basically your intellectual state of awareness is full of um, inflexible absolutes and, and demands, basically. That's what Scorpios do. They just absolutely demand it must be this way. And so that is the, the issue where you're not having enough uh, flexibility and the friction itself could be causing a lot of friction in the world. It's serious job.